Hey everyone, hi Callisti. Welcome. Thank you for being here again. Oh my gosh. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky you decide to spend time with me so often. <laughs> I can't believe I'm this is number four. Stream four in a row. I don't know what's happened to me. I found my stride, I guess, this past weekend. How are you doing today? I had a super busy work day, so I'm happy to be done with it now. And getting ready to stream some video games. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having fun streaming more. It's It's been fun. I'm finding more energy to do it, I guess. It also helps that I kind of did more stuff for my stream and I kind of updated my looks and everything, so that's exciting too. I had to do it, it's, it's long been in the waiting, so. Mainly work writing and game dev stuff. I love seeing your little progress updates on Twitter for uh, your RPG. It's really fun looking. Makes me want to go back into RPG Maker, but I realize I don't have time for that, so. I will, I will play your project when it's complete. Maybe I'll stream your project when you, f when you finish it. <laughs> I spent hours in RPG Maker before. What is that? Oh, there's still... There's still nail polish left on my nails. Oops. It's not blood. Don't, don't worry, it's not blood. <laughs> it's not blood in my fingernails. Yeah, I can't wait to see your final product. It takes a long time though. Like, I spent... I feel like when I was doing RPG Maker, I spent like so many hours just building a town. Kind of like what you're doing. And then I would never get past that. <laughs> It's like, I need a whole world, but I spend like so much time on a town. And then I think to myself, man, I'm going to have to make at least like 20 more of these towns <laughs> to do the game that I want. So I always talk myself out of it, unfortunately, but it's okay. I have all you other creative people out there to do it. World building alongside. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like doing a D&D campaign, you know? It's a lot of work and thought and preparation. That's good. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's why you're doing it and not me. <laughs> it got tedious for me after a while, so I was just like, ugh, I can't. I can't do it. Yes, exactly. Except sometimes RPG Maker, I think, is even more involved because, you know, D&D has all the mechanics and stuff thought out for you already, but for RPG Maker, you have to come up with your own mechanics and systems and battle stuff, so... Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. I actually miss doing D&D. You could... D&D was world building, but it wasn't such a huge commitment like RPG Maker, so... You could just build, like, portions of the world at one time. You can't release just a portion- Oh, I guess you could just release a portion of your world in RPG Maker and just say, This is part one. Stay tuned for part two. I guess you could do that. Separate Twitter feed for the game? That might be a good idea. Man, I just realized how chat my lips are. Sorry, you probably don't want to see that, but... <laughs> I need some water. Okay. Your love of D&D that inspired you to do the games, that's, that's a very good reason. I really enjoyed D&D myself. I used to play a lot back in college <laughs> I guess it was college at this point late high school and college so but not recently at all a 
Old style SNES RPGs, yeah. I love I love old style SNES RPGs. If if games were coming out that, that were like that now these days, I would still buy them and play them. And enjoy them a lot because those are great. Okay, let's see. So today's stream, I don't know. It may be shorter depending on how quick it takes for me to finish this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Or I may switch to something else. I'm not sure. Something quick, but I'm really close to the end of Illusion of Gaia, so I'm pretty sure, well, unless the secret area gives me a lot of trouble. An old style RPG. Yeah, I love old style RPGs. Well, RPG Maker is perfect for that, so. RPG Maker is great. So if y'all are in here, don't forget we are doing a community challenge or community points goal for me to play the GameCube Resident Evil on stream. So if you want to contribute to that, please go ahead. I'm excited to play it. Whether I stream it or not, but yes, I have it. So it'll be fun. Oh, thank you, Kalisti. I appreciate it. Thank you. It'll be fun and scary. Oh, Marby the Gate. Oh my gosh, hello. Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in today. That is such a cute emote. Is that Jason? It is Jason. <laughs> Your emotes are so cute. I don't know how you make scary so cute. Yeah, we're already at 66% of the goal. We're definitely going to hit it. I should have made it shorter. <laughs> but thank you everyone for contributing your points. That's a cute emote too. So hot today. Yeah, it is pretty well. I can't complain about how warm it is. How hot is it where you are? I'm doing well that now that the work day's over. It was a very long work day. You have 6,000 points left? That's great. We'll definitely get there then. How hot is it here now? It's probably, okay, well. <laughs> I won't complain about how hot it is. Nineties today? Yeah, we're only at, it's only 82 right now. That's not terrible. Sorry for the glare. As you can see, I keep track of everybody's, like, weather on my phone, just because I know where all y'all are, and I'm just like, I wonder how hot it is where people are. So I have everybody's weather on my phone. That's really warm for where you are. Yeah, 80s is hot. It's not too bad today. It's really clear outside and sunny, and there's a breeze, so it's not bad at all. It could be much worse. Much, much worse. But it's 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 just fine. <laughs> Are you streaming tonight, Jonathan? I, I keep forgetting to look out for your schedules, for Matt's schedules too. Sorry, I keep shaking the I have to stop shaking my desk. I need a desk that's more sturdy. It shakes every time I just move or breathe on it. Oh, that's right. I saw your tweet. That's right. It's too hot. <laughs> I guess I sh I'm lucky because it gets warm, but it doesn't get so hot that my computer is going to fry. So it's, it's okay, usually. And we actually have our curtains closed in the afternoon because the sun comes in from the afternoon sun comes into the house and it gets warm. So I usually keep the curtains closed during the afternoon. So it keeps the heat out a little bit. But, you know, it's not that bad considering I see some of you guys get up to like 110 degrees or 105 degrees. It's like, ah, no thanks. I don't want to deal with that. I 
But yeah, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot this week because we have Legend of Mana coming out on Thursday. So I'm going to stream that. I thought it was Tuesday for some reason, but it's Thursday. The remaster of Legend of Mana. I'm definitely going to finish this today, I'm hoping. Unless I run into some serious issues. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to get started in a minute. I just, I like to decompress now with chatting for a little bit first before diving into the game. So thank you all for coming in early. You give me something to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty warm here too but I can't complain but I just don't like the summer anyway I'm not a fan of summer I know people think I'm weird especially living in Hawaii it's like how come you don't like summer it's too hot it's too hot it's too bright the days are too long I have many reasons why I don't like summer <laughs> I'm not a fan of brightness and heat. I'm still thinking about what I want to do for... Because I had a goal of hitting 150 followers and I, I'm almost at 170 now. So th thank you everyone for following. I have to plan something. I might do something this weekend for it, you know. I kind of wanted to do some kind of a subathon of sorts too. Maybe paint my nails for y'all and get some sub, sub, sub subs. The reason I want subs is I want to open up more slots for the emotes that Oceanity is going to make for me. So I want to make them available to more of y'all. I wish I could just put them all at tier 1 to start with, but can't. So we'll try something. I don't know if y'all were in the other stream I was talking about, but my husband and I found some pretty nail polish at the store. And I've always wanted to try and paint my own nails. But... I did not know anything about it, so they're gel-based polish, which requires a top coat, which we didn't buy, so th they won't stay put if I put them on, which is why I still have polish on my fingers, because I took them off very easily. Very pretty colors, though. We'll see. I'll, I'll think of something. Okay. I guess... Hold on. I need more, some more water. <clears throat> My throat is just not plugging me today. I had a lot of meetings. Okay. Let's jump into the game. Hopefully I can finish it today. Switch over to the game. There it is. All right. Okay. Let's hope we can finish this today. <laughs> My earphone's always way too loud. Okay. Where am I supposed to go now? I have... Where's the gem, gem jeweler guy? I should have 49. I think he's here somewhere. The girl silently offers one sheet of paper. Picture of a jackal. A shiver ran down my spine. It was a warning from the jackal who had been stalking us. Well, he's gone now, so... No worries about that. Oh, there you are. 49, we're almost there. I've never done this before. I just have one gem left. Oh. Oh, wait. Do I have to talk to him? Really? Do you have to go? Once you make up your mind to do something, nothing can stop you. Okay, I'll take Will to the Tower of Babel, then take Kara and Eric to South Cape. This time the airplane won't crash. I hope not. Okay, so the last gem I need is here. At the tower. Um, I hope there's a way for me to get out of here. We'll be there soon, Will. Say hello to your father for me. 
Thanks, I know you will make a great president. Ah, uh, I guess I won't see you for a long time. When you finish your business, hurry back to South Cape. Thank you, I'm glad we all made the trip together. On this trip, everyone found something. Lance met Lily and found his lost father. Neil decided to take over his parents' company. Kara started to really live and saw a world outside the castle. I'm going to excuse myself. <laughs> Finally, I can go to the bathroom by myself at night. <laughs> Just like Eric. Kara hasn't said anything for a while. I won't see Will for a long time. I'll say goodbye to him. The translations are so awkward sometimes. Hmm, right. We've reached the Tower of Babel. Okay, Will. Is your parachute ready? Let's go. I guess there's no way for me to get out of here. There must be something I can do, though. I jumped out over the Tower of Babel. I hadn't been there in a year and a half. Oh, he's been here before? I guess I missed that. Okay. Tower of Babel was deathly quiet. Time stood still. Can't leave. So where's search the altar at the tower between two cold colored freedom statues? Alright. This one? The flute I had discovered the flute I had was discovered here. Red jewel. Okay, wait. So I have them all now. Um Is there a way for me to leave this place? There must be a way later. Let's just keep going. I'm excited, I've never played this extra content. Spikes. Uh, okay. Oh. Something seemed to fall from the flute. It's King Edward's crystal ring. I thought it was a decoration, but it had been hidden there. Oh, so we had it all this time. Can I use it now? Oh, I guess not. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I can walk through it with the ring equipped. Ah. Wait. Kara? I'm sorry, I just feel that if we part now, we'll never meet again. Oh, that's why there was another parachute that followed. But Kara, why have you come here? You can't come here unless you have the crystal ring. Could that be the ring? Didn't you find it in the ink and gold ship? This crystal ring is dark blue. The ring you have is light blue. A light one and a dark one. I understand. No matter what happens, don't leave me. Okay, we have two together now. I still have to check if I can. I guess I can't. No, we'll just keep going. There's got to be an opportunity for me to leave. The light released from the comet has a profound effect on the growth of living things. When the star nears Earth's orbit, all living things experience a dramatic evolution. They don't want to talk to me. From ancient times, comets have been called the spirits of stars, but also the demon of stars. The one now nearing the Earth is the demon of stars. The comet is the highest form of consciousness. The Earth will evolve beyond imagination. Hmm. Passage of time is different inside the Tower of Babel. Time races by. You're not normal human beings because you can live here. We're special? In that room are demons evolved by the light. You must put them to sleep before you go up. Oh. Oh, and here's a safe point. What's down this way? Okay, I can't go through there. Am I still wearing the ring? Can I change to Frieden? I'm hoping. Or Shadow. 
go. Oh. Oh, it's the bosses again, that's right. Oh, he's gonna change me. Okay, cool. I forgot we have to fight all these jerks again. Should equip this thing because this lets me dodge stuff. Yeah, and they're harder than they used to be, of course. Oh, but I can heal after, that's not too bad. I'm assuming I can just come back down here too after everyone, I'm hoping. I have max health. I must have found everything. That's great. Okay, so we go up. There's another one of those. And a blocked path? Yep. What was the next boss after that? Oh, this bird. I know this is kind of a trope from older games, but I kind of like these sequences where you have to revisit all the bosses. I know it's a... a way to reuse content in a way, but I still think it's kind of cool. Yeah, that was easy. I'm gonna be extra cautious and go ahead and save and heal after each one. Since I can, why not? Yeah, you know, I'm really happy that I'm streaming another day. I can't believe I've streamed four days in a row, honestly, I keep saying that, but that I never used to do that before. I was always too tired, I would make an excuse not to do it. I do have to take a couple days break though this week, I'm sure. So. Oh. Oh, is this gonna lock me out from coming back down? I bet it is. Oh yeah, it's locking me out. I can't go back down. I hope Gem is in here somewhere, otherwise... Okay, that's all there is there. Who's after? Oh, is it? Oh, it's the vampires. Ugh. I don't like these two. I can dodge the- oh, I can dodge that attack now. Ouch, ouch. Ow. Oh, 
These two are seriously the hardest boss for me. So much, so much to going on. So much to keep track of. Okay, good. I can't go back and heal, but. Oh, that's where I came from. I do have nine lives, so. Oh, here are the police cars outside. That is the one downside of my apartment. There's a freeway right below us, and it's very noisy. What is this now? Oh, the worm. This was not too bad. I think this is the worm. The centipede. Yep. I wonder how he's changed. He's actually not too bad. Because he's kind of confined to his spot. And I'm safe at the bottom of the screen somehow, so... Yeah. <laughs> not a problem at all. They're probably- he's probably the easiest boss. Oh. Crap. I totally missed that message. <laughs> this game edits like... I don't like that you can advance the text with the directional button. Okay, we're out here now. Hmm, where's the... You're about back to save Earth. I'll take you to the top floor. Is there a way to leave? There must be a way to leave or something. Okay, there's another door there. Okay, who's next now? Oh, her. She's not too bad, too, if you know what you're doing. Just have to be very patient. Oh. One of her weaknesses is that you can only you hit her once and she just breaks apart, so... Makes it much simpler than it could be. Just gotta keep moving. I let her attack. Oops. Oh shit. He got me. She got me. Oh damn. I did only have four hearts left. Okay. At least we're back. I 
Oh, but her health is all back. That's right. I blame the vampires. Come down where I can reach you. Oh, what? How did she get me? I do like how she changes as she gets hurt. She gets freakier and freakier. It's a cool detail. Ow! Hyper focus on this now. Damn. There you go. Ah, she got me again. Let's not get hit by the slow moving bricks. That'd be a waste. Ah. Jeez. She starts to get me now. Oh, there we go. I'd say she's probably the second hardest one. The vampires are the worst by far. Well, the race is done. How's, Hubby's gonna make a pork roast tonight, so... I'm excited about that. Oh. It's the vampire. My least favorite boss. The comet will soon be entering Earth's orbit. We must go to the top of the Tower of Babel. I'm gonna sneeze. I scared my I scared away. I was gonna hit mute and it didn't mute, so I was like, wait, don't sneeze now. I didn't mute myself, did I? No. Okay. Um, how do I? Oh, there's Kara. Kara, where did you go? There was talk that the vampire woman had come. They say that her body is eternal. They say that once the comet is gone, she'll be able to rest in peace. Okay. See, the translations got a little more awkward towards the end. It's like, what? If you proceed, you will not be able to turn back. Oh, there we go. That's how you can get out. Am I going to have to do this all over again, though? I hope not. Okay. I'm excited, I've never seen this part of the game, so let's go see. Return to Dell Village. Oh, chicken stew is live. My friend. Um, okay. Oh, so I can go back with him. Cool. Alright, uh, let's go save here. Wait, where's the save point? Oh, there it is. Because I have no idea what to expect here. Fifty. Suddenly you've gathered fifty red jewels. The time has come to tell you some of my secrets. Follow me. Let's do it. When I awoke, I was standing in the entrance of a strange mansion. 
Oh. Oh. Hey, these are the, uh, diamond mine enemies. That slide attack is so overpowered, I love it. Okay, not too bad so far. This place is freaky. I like the, uh, okay, the, the ghost flying in the front totally gives me, like, Castlevania vibes. Super Castlevania 4, the, uh, treasury house. Oh. Total, that's what it totally reminds me of right now. Ouch. Oh, can't block that. Defeat everyone. Oh gosh. There's no force here, so. No, I guess not. Wish I had known that earlier. Oh. A oh, chest. What is it? Oh, an herb. I have four of them. Okay, since I don't have to defeat them all, I probably will just not try to because it'll just cost me some health that I need. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Ow. Oh, maybe I do need to defeat these guys. Hmm. This way? Is there another path? No. Yeah. Did I miss something here? Oh my gosh, stop doing that jump attack, Will. There must be a- oh, jump out here? Ah, there we go. Oh wait, no, that just goes around. This way? No. Where, where do I go? I can't destroy these, can I? No. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a place I can slide or something that I didn't see. Like, I can't slide through here, can I? Oh, I can. Oh my gosh. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Let's just keep going. 
Oh. Welcome to my home. The jeweler gem is a temporary form. The true form is called Solid Arm. Long ago, the blazer came down from the sky and I was put to sleep for a long, long time. My power is contained in red jewels scattered around the world. I have tried many things to bring about my own resurrection. It is I who manipulated the labor trade. I tried using forced labor to find them, but it didn't restore my power fast enough. I'm sorry, but I will have to defeat you too. Uh, okay. Secret boss? Ow. Oh. I, I didn't eat the herb when I was shut up. Okay, make sure I have the herb equipped. Yep. Ow, ow, ow. Ouch! Jeez. Okay, well, it looks like he only has a couple of attacks. I can slide through him safely. Sort of. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, I'm losing all my lives. Oh, Gamer Wolf, hello, welcome. Oh, he got me again. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for stopping by again. I'm somehow like... Oh. oh! Dang it! Oh, I'm losing all my lives. I might want to restart and just come back here. Oh, did I eat my herb? Just got home from work? Nice. Yay. Work being done is nice. Okay, that seems to be working to an extent, but... Oh, so close! Okay, I think I can- I know what it did you now. How was work today for you? My day was super busy. Oh, okay, that didn't work well. Crap. Well, I'll get to reload my save soon because I am losing all my lives to this jerk. Yeah, I'm not hitting him at all there. Just another Manic Monday. Yeah, today was really busy for me.
Oh god. Am I trapped here now? He's somehow not hitting me though. Ow. Man, I don't know what I'm supposed to do against this guy. Oh, there's all my lives gone. Crap, well, that's game over. Oh, it's not gonna let me restart. Hmm, I don't know if I like this. And having to run all the way back after this too is kind of brutal. That doesn't hit him. Oh my gosh. It just puts me back here. Uh. Hmm. I mean, if I could get there with fuller health, that might be better, but all my lives are gone. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm a little annoyed with this. And I don't see a way to... Oh gosh. Fight the boss. Effectively. Ugh. 
Yeah, and if I slide through him like that, he gets me on the other side. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I go back there with more herbs? But I can't go get more herbs. These enemies hitting me on the way there too are very annoying. Oops. I'm also annoyed so I'm playing a little sloppily. Okay, let's try... This herb is gone, right? Yeah. Seems like him using the fireballs is not a good thing. Oh, that works a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay, I think I figured out how to do it. Alright, let's try and get there <laughs> really carefully. Not take any damage. Just run past these enemies. Ow, jerk. seems like I can slide under the boss and hit him and then if I do the eh, the jump attack it makes me invincible so I can get away but I have to do it perfectly ouch which is a little annoying but it's a secret boss so I'm not sure though if I want to continue this because It's hard to execute. Really hard to execute. Ouch, ouch. Oh, and he shoots he shoots fireballs right at me too. Crap. I'm gonna give it a couple more tries, but if I can't do it, I can't do it. 
I'm just gonna reset my game and beat the actual game. It's fine. losing so much health to those eye monsters. They're really annoying. Ouch. Ugh. Okay. Man, if I could just get her with full health, that would be a little easier, but... I also have to make sure he doesn't... I guess when I get too far away, it's when he does the the targeted shots. Ow. Uh, I don't know. It's very, very, very frustrating. Ouch. Ugh, I don't like these things. Damn it. Oh my gosh, this place. This place is testing me. Not that I think I can win this time, but... Hi Elias, welcome! How are you doing? Oh, it's like early morning for you now, isn't it? Ah, you know what? I give up. Screw it. I got this far, I unlocked the secret room, but I don't want to keep dealing with this. It's annoying me. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to reset the game. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay.
Okay, I am back. Couldn't sleep because of the heat? Oh, I'm sorry. Practice and travel to your parents for midsummer. Oh, that's nice. That sounds nice. Okay, I reset the game, went back to my old last previous save, and we're just gonna go fight the final battle. I am not dealing with that secret boss. Are your parents far away from you, Elias? One worn out body is quietly laid down. In his head, a familiar, a familiar voice speaks. Will, it's me, Olman, your father. My body has decayed, but I live on like this. The spirit. Father, why are you in that form? There's a strange room in the Tower of Babel, filled with the light of the comet. Time goes so fast there that people evolve very quickly. Why are Kara and I able to live? Because you two are evolved humans. Us? This is where the story gets weird, but long ago there existed biological technology using the light of the comet. People freely use the power to make plants and animals. Ooh, your mother's great at cooking. Ooh, yum. For example, they made the camel. It can go for long periods without food or water. When people realized the power could be used as a weapon, demons were developed. The world was on the brink of ruin. At that time, the nights of darkness and light were developed to decide the fate of humanity. They are your ancestors. The six mystic statues were made by the knights. The last mystic statue is entrusted to you. Two hours away by train? That's not too bad. Unless, is it a nice train ride? I imagine it's nice going across uh, in a train. Soon the comet will be very close. By then the two of you must go to the roof of the tower. Close your eyes. Oh, swirlies. The ancients worshipped the comet as a spirit. Those who bathed in the comet's light were given a strange power. The comet is called a spirit, but it's an unwelcome spirit. Evolving too fast brings destruction. As long as people have evil hearts, demons will be born. Well, open your eyes and look around. People. What's oh, Seth? Ah, oh, Will, it's been a long time. Such a world. If I could talk of this at an academy, I'd be a great scholar. Neil's father. Neil, what are you doing? I want him to make the Rolex company grow bigger and bigger. Neil's mother. Even if I can see the real world, I can't touch it. No matter how difficult it may get, I can't help you. Hamlet, oh, oink oink. Of course, there's no difference between humans and animals. With my body gone, I became forever young. From the comet's light, I gained immortality. But is there meaning in eternal life? I felt more alive when I had a terminal disease. Oh my. At last, the time is near. Everyone, give Will your power. When Will and Kara joined and became one with the Light Knight, a great power was born. The knights were brought forth. The Dark Knight's ultimate power, the Firebird, was released. Those statues look like little froggies. I got my water. Your battle will change the fate of humanity. Now you must go to the comet. I guess he does look like a bird. The kind train. I am not going to even try to pronounce that and butcher your language, Elias. A budget-friendly train that takes a bit longer, but very comfy seats. Oh, that's nice. And a kiosk. Like, uh, you can buy food and water, food and drinks. Oh, crap. Ow, crap. Ow. I'm doing well today, Lies. Thank you. I had a very long work day, so... 
I'm just glad it's done. Oh, this is getting hit too much in this form. A very, very busy work day. I'm excited to be streaming so much now, though. Ow. <laughs> this might not be good for me. Ugh, so cool and creepy looking. Ow. Okay, wait, I know I'm supposed to stand somewhere, particularly for this boss. One more education program accepted? That's awesome, Elias. Now you need to decide. Well, that's already cool that you got two exceptions, so that's great. Or two acceptances. That's really awesome, Elias. I'm happy for you. stand here right in the center I think or not ow I should probably use my herbs but it's true it looks like Genova it's a very cool design. I don't remember. There's a very specific trick to fighting that boss, but I don't remember it. Well, I'm happy you could come in again, Elias. Thank you for being here. Ouch. Mm. I have to stop taking hits. Ugh, damn it. I could not avoid that one. easily dodge those. No, I can't. Can I block them? Oh, I can block them. Okay. Let me use an herb. Crap. There is so much to keep track of. Crap. Should probably use another herb. Oh, I missed my chance to hit him. Crap. 
Ugh. Sorry, y'all. I'm like hyper focused right now. Two hits. Ah. Yeah, this boss is a. Uh, it's requiring a lot of my concentration. <laughs> then it's going to really throw me off. Okay, I thought I was done for there for a second. Oh, he got me. <laughs> no. Uh. Well, I'm out of healing items, so this might be tough. This definitely has like the final boss like vibe though. Okay, I can get three hits in before it shoots the beam. Just have to keep an eye on the bubbles. Got one hit at least. Just waiting for that mouth to open. Okay, cool. Got two hits. Good. I'm shooting phoenixes, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Which is pretty uh, awesome. When you oh, crap. It's pretty awesome when you think about it. Phoenix is, I guess, his final power. Or Firebird. One more hit. 
crap, oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, focus, focus. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I screwed it up. Ugh. Crap. One more hit, too. Ugh. Okay. Can do it this time. Oh, crap, crap. I'm just gonna let myself die. I got hit three times. Okay, this is the real try. <laughs> this is the real last try. Ah, crap. If I had some healing items left over, this wouldn't be as hard, but I used them all, so I have to make do without them. Do this can do this. Oh, crap. I hesitated. My god, this requires so much concentration. Crap. Like, I'm having to watch the bubbles, and when she fires the beam, I have to know to block, and I have to watch for her mouth to open. Eh. And not get hit by the beam. Oh, no. Crap. Oh my gosh. Anxiety, anxiety. Oh crap, no. Missed. Yeah, there's a lot of projectiles. At least they don't change, but the bubbles are the ones that throw me off the most because I have to watch where they go. They don't always go the same way. And sometimes I get so distracted oh, watching the bubbles that I don't see her mouth open.
It wouldn't be so hard if there weren't, like, two bubbles, two sets of bubbles? Oh my gosh. Oh, crap. I wouldn't have made it. Oh, the bubble got me. Crap. Uh, yeah, and you can't block the bubbles either. You have to destroy them. Yeah, my eyes are like constantly looking around. Okay. I know I can do this. Someone's got me. All right, here we go. I didn't get hit that time. That's good. Oh, okay. Well, that was a quick opening. Thank you, Elias. I will definitely do my best. <laughs> I think this boss was a lot easier when I was younger. <laughs> My reaction time was a lot faster. Oh! Thank you, Wolf. I am definitely happy you guys are here to support me on this. One hit in this, this, that's good. Don't like the bubbles. Oh, crap. So much concentration. Oh, crap. Okay, got two hits in. Nice. Oh. Knock off Genova, I know. This looks like what Genova could transform into, like one of them. Two hits, good. I, I really want to get my hands on a FF7 Integrate. I can't play it at all now, but it looks so cool. And oh my god, y'all, when the Gen Genova music came up... Oh, one hit. 
in the FF7 remake. I was so like stoked. It was so cool to hear it. What they did with the track. It just sounds so good. Okay. Yeah, Integrate is the new one with Yuffie. Yep, yep. But it's only available on new consoles, and I don't have new consoles, so... Oh, okay, got one hidden. Eh. Oh, that was close. Okay, two hits, good. Oh, damn. Missed my chance. It's okay, that's okay. Getting drawn to the side before she attacks. Eh. Yeah, it would be nice if it came out on PC. That would be cool. I can neither afford a PS5 nor can we find one anywhere. Oh! Crap, crap, crap. Uh. Okay. Damn it. Uh, excited for the new Minecraft update. Oh yeah, the new cave update. I have uh, my, some of my friends are looking around on our realm at the new stuff. Well, I only have two more tries, guys, so I hope I can do it. I can't wait to see the rest of the update, but there's already a lot of new stuff for them for Minecraft. Oh, you played Minecraft for the first time? That's awesome. I always uh, enjoy showing people Minecraft. What did you think about it?
Not as bad as you thought it was going to be. I'm guessing you're not a, a fan of those types of games. I personally love Minecraft. It's just a nice little sandbox escaped. Ah, crap. I didn't think that bubble got me. Eh. You couldn't understand the appeal at first. Yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people understand Minecraft at first, but I really enjoy it. It's just fun, you know. Just do whatever the heck you want kind of thing. Basically. It's like playing with Legos. But with friends, you know, so that makes it even more appealing. Eh. Oh, oh, God. Okay, that was close. I wasn't paying attention for a second there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Minecraft is better with the community. It's fun with friends. Did I do it? Hit a stone golem that was guarding a town. That wasn't very nice of them to tell you to do that. <laughs> oh, I think we did it. Yay, thank god. I don't have to touch the controller anymore. Yeah, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> I wouldn't have tricked you like that. <laughs> The comet's power has disappeared. The evil star has f flown off to the other side of the universe. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good sense of humor about it. I know, thank goodness we did it. It only took like 10 tries. I don't know how we're standing on a comet right now, but video game logic for you. I like building my own golems. <laughs> That's always fun. Man, that took me forever. Endermen? <laughs> Endermen are awesome. <laughs> They're hilarious. We'll just let the ending play out here. It's fine. <laughs> look at it, but don't look at it. Yeah. They don't like it when you look at them. They're funny though, like, they'll just totally leave you alone unless you look at them, so you can kind of just let them do their thing. But if you make them mad, they don't like it, then they're kind of dangerous, very dangerous. Based on Slenderman, yes. My least favorite creature in that game is the Creeper by far, because 
They always ruin my hard work in survival mode, and it makes me very upset. <laughs> and sometimes they just come up from nowhere and they explode you from like behind or from above, and there's just no predicting it. I can't stand creepers. I don't know how many times a creeper has scared me and exploded from behind and destroyed everything I was working on. Or they would like fall on top of me while I'm working inside a ravine, like mining a ravine, and it just falls down and blows up and kills me. I don't, I don't like creepers. Not at all. Alright, so I wasn't reading all the text, but basically what's happening now, now that the comet is gone, the world is changing to what it's supposed to be, and you can kind of guess where that's going, right? They added goats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of my friends, she shared a, um, a video of a goat attacking a chicken, which is pretty funny. Somehow the land has taken on a strange shape. <laughs> That's the new world. That's how our world came into being, guys. Someone destroyed a comet and it changed our world into the current world. I like all the new cave stuff in Minecraft. I have to go play around in our realm for a little bit. My friend's been building a base for us in there, so I have to go check it out. I made the world. <laughs> yeah, surprise creepers are not fun. They annoy me. They annoy me so much that whenever I whenever I build a base in a survival server, I will build our base and then I'll literally build a fence all around the outside and I'll put torches all over the place so that they can't spawn anywhere. I can't stand them. <laughs> I make sure that there can't be any creepers within the vicinity of my, our buildings. And yet they still come in somehow, I don't know. No, it's not that they don't like the light, but if creep mobs don't spawn when there's a certain light level or above. So if it's light enough, they won't spawn. At night, I mean. Yeah, I have a realm. Um, how would be the best way to get you the invitation? I thought I, I thought you were in there already. I guess not. But I'll send you a... Um, well, what is your Minecraft uh, name? I can send you an invite. You can put it in the in Discord. I don't know if you're in our Discord. Um, or you can just tell me here. Whatever. It's not very active. There's only a few of us in there that are like active, but... If you want to go mess around in there, feel free. It's a survival realm, so not creative. But yeah, I just light up everything so that they don't spawn anywhere. Oh yeah, that's another reason I look for cats too. <laughs> so I do the fencing and then I go find cats from another village and bring them to our village or to our base so they stay away. So, <laughs> I can't, I can't stand creepers. Elias 707? Okay. I'll send you an invite. Let me write your name down real quick. Um, Elias 707 Minecraft Realm. Okay. I'll send you an invite right after I'm done with this. There's not much there. I just rebooted it because the up the update came. So I just I downloaded our old map and then I just uploaded a new map. So it's all fresh. There's nothing really built there yet. Uh, my friend T Rex is already building like a little base and a farm and everything. And it's next to a cave, which is good because the cave has all the new content, right? So we're gonna go dig around in the cave. So I'm gonna go check it out later, probably later tonight. I think we'll see.
Wolf, I don't know if you're interested too, but if you want to join our server, you can. I don't know how, how much you actually like Minecraft, but if you want to join up, feel free. She wants to remember Will because they're all going to forget each other now that this is over. We've talked about this before, but you forget him. <laughs> That's fine, Elias. Well, I did I did refresh the ser the realm, so it was it was disabled for a little while. Uh, well, I don't think you can search for thousands of years. I don't think you'd make it that far. This music is great. Played Minecraft since Alpha? Wow spent thousands of hours i mainly play in survival so i like to do different builds and stuff and build buildings and decorate them that's kind of my favorite thing to do i also like to explore and make maps like one of my favorite things to do is make a wall and just put maps on it and just map out the whole area around the base so i like to do maps and building and i actually like to mine stuff like i like digging and just finding things. It's very satisfying. It's the new Earth, y'all. It's our Earth. I prefer the old Earth, but... <laughs> Few of the games you've passed a thousand hours on. Wow. I don't think I've passed a thousand hours on anything. I've definitely surpassed... 500 hours on Skyrim. <laughs> That's certainly one game I've done 500 hours on. I think my next most played game is probably Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley, I think I have like maybe 300 hours in. I think. That's a lot of time in Minecraft, Elias. You must know some good tricks. Are you one of those that really likes the uh, using redstone and making 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 stuff with redstone? I'm not good with redstone at all. I don't really understand it, so I leave it to the experts. Are you like building shops? That's cute. My friend, you might know Oceanity, but she's really a wizard with redstone. She can make all these cool things happen, and I'm just like, I don't understand how you do this, but it's really great. I love it. So I like playing with her because she creates these cool things for us. Yay, we did it! I beat this game in four streams. This is a very cute game. Like everyone says though, there are a lot of dark themes in it, which is interesting because it's about a group of kids, but lots of stuff happens that's pretty dark. So definitely impacted me growing up. Oh, Kalisti, thank you for joining. Yeah, isn't it like, wait, 5 a.m. for you? Almost 6 a.m. in the morning? Although I guess you work, you work at night, right? So, but. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you again soon. I'm happy I beat it. I couldn't beat the secret boss. Sorry, y'all. He was too frustrating for me, but at least I got to see him. I've never seen him before, so that's the first time I ever played that secret stage and seen the secret boss. I might look up some tips on how to beat him. I'm not sure how to do it. He looks He's very frustrating. Oh, Cosmic, welcome. Hello. Long time no see. How are you doing? 6 a.m. All right, Callisti, good night. I'll see you soon. 
not learned a lot of the newer stuff, but I have a lot of tricks. Digital clock? Oh, that's cool. This game looks cool. Is it over? It is over, unfortunately. But I am going to archive all my streams on YouTube, Cosmic. So if you want to catch up there, all of these will be on YouTube. The link is in the description of the stream. So, <laughs> Thanks for coming in, though. How have you been? It's late here and you should be sleeping. Yeah, that, I know that feeling. I'm doing well tonight. I had a long work day, but I'm glad it's over. And I'm glad I took the time to stream tonight, so... <laughs> what time is it where you are, Cosmic? It's not even 7pm here yet, so... The night's still young for me. <laughs> yeah, kalisti has been here. He's been lurking. Cosmic, I think you would probably like this game, seeing the kind of games that you like. Unfortunately, it's really hard to access this game nowadays, now these days, unless you have the cartridge itself, which is almost impossible to find, or if you're okay with emulating it. But yeah, it might be up your alley. It's kind of like... It's hard to describe. It's kind of like Legend of Zelda. Um, but there's story elements and some character progression. RPG elements, so... Part of the Soul Blazer series, if you're familiar with that. But yeah, go ahead and check out the... If, you, if you're interested, go check out my streams. I have, I think, the first two parts loaded on YouTube now, and the other two parts will come out this week, so. Uh, Elias, it's the Windows version. We don't play Java. I play the Windows version because one of my friends in the group, she plays on her Switch, so I want to make sure she can be included. You can't do Java on Switch, so. Yeah, Cosmic, this is a great game. If you have a way to emulate it, I would do it. <laughs> and just try it out for yourself. It's worth it. The only... Th there's a couple things that I would knock for it. It's the... The localization is pretty poor, but this is an old Super Nintendo game, so... We can't be too harsh about it. And... Some parts of the game are a little obtuse, as far as, like, what you're supposed to do next. So... Like, you have to talk to a particular NPC sometimes to get the story moving. So I would also make sure you're okay with using a guide in case you get stuck. So. Because there are some parts where you're like, what am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to talk to to get this to move? And sometimes it's some odd person you would not think you'd have to talk to to get the story moving again. Oh, you play Java. Toad, oh my gosh, thank you for the eight months. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I feel like you just subscribed for seven months. What happened to the last month? Yeah, sorry Elias, we only do Windows version. We don't play Java. I like Java, but Windows, it allows me to play with different people who are playing on different consoles, so. I have no idea what happens to time anymore. Me too. 2020 ruined the timeline, I think. <laughs> How are you doing, Toad? I miss talking to you. Are you all moved? I lost track. Are you all moved into your new place? Vampires. Oh, you move next week. Pretty soon. Almost time. Just want this week to be over. I know, and it's only Monday. I'm already feeling that same way, too. 
It's a long week. I love this main theme, it's so good. I'm guessing you must all be packed up then and everything by now if you're moving next week. Is most of your stuff already over into your new place? Yeah, Windows version is great for cross-platform, so... Had someone come in for a viewing of the room. Took two hours for the person to leave? Excuse me. What was he doing? Looks at Windows Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, if you ever get it, Elias, you can play with other people on different platforms, you know. I don't want to twist your arm or anything, but... <laughs> Oh, talking to your roommates. Okay, well. Thank you for playing all. Oh, there's a pig. Is it just going to stop here or what? Is there something else? Oh. Class is over. Please be careful. Crossing the street. Oh, this is the real world now, I guess. We've had a lot of traffic accidents lately. It's a compelling argument, isn't it? Is it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's right. They all find each other. That's nice. And Seth's not a whale. I forgot. That's good. That's happy. That's a happy ending. Yay, we did it! I beat this game so quick! I'm happy. Four days and it's done. Cool. Yep, that's it! That's the end! So the world is now the real world and they all found each other again, which is nice. That's pretty, that's cute. That's why you always have to watch for the post credit scenes. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything else here, so I'm gonna switch to just chatting. <laughs> okay, let's see. That. Just chatting. All right. Yeah, that's the end. We beat Illusion of Gaia, yay. You know, the next game, I'm not too sure. I kind of want to stream either tomorrow or Wednesday, but I am going to stream Legend of Mana for sure on Thursday. I'm going to get the Legend of Mana remake. So if you all want to check that game out, I'm going to stream that on Thursday. I might take a break, um, maybe tomorrow and come back on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm going to stream on Wednesday though. It'll be a one-off short, sh short game or just something like that because Thursday I'm going to start Legend of Mana, so. That's next. It'll be a modern game, not a retro game. Actually, it is a retro game, but it's a remaster of an old game. So that'll be next. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but um, oh, if y'all didn't do it yet. So thank you for everyone who contributed. But I do have a community challenge going for if if we meet the goal, which I'm pretty sure we will. We're already at 66 percent and I just started it. Uh, I have the GameCube Resident Evil game. I found at a thrift store this weekend. So I will do a stream series on that if we hit the goal. So I know a lot of you want to see me play Resident Evil games. So if you want to see me play Resident Evil games. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Toad. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to hit it. Really, I should have made the goal higher, but it was the first challenge I'm doing. So I wanted to set a lower goal. But And I actually honestly really just want to play Resident Evil with you. So... <laughs> stream the trials of mana. so no no not trials of mana it's actually legend of mana so legend of mana is the mana adjacent game that is on the playstation 1 i believe and yeah ps1 is the original so they're remastering that one legend of mana 
so that's what i'm gonna be playing it's it's releasing on thursday so i'm gonna i think i'm getting the digital version i want to get it for switch but at the same time i feel like i should just get it on my ps4 yeah thank you elias for your contribution thank you toad as well yeah i'm pretty sure we're gonna be playing gamecube resident evil very soon so thank you for your contributions I have to think of what I want to do. I'm thinking this weekend I might do some kind of celebration for hitting 150 followers. So I'll think of something. I'll tweet it out before the weekend. So if y'all want to join me for that. But yeah, Legend of Mana for sure on Thursday. I think I'll be I'll take a break tomorrow and then come back on Wednesday. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play on Wednesday though. What suggestions y'all have? I, I don't know. I don't know what I should play on Wednesday. We'll see. It's starting to get dark, so my lights are getting a little bit more impactful. I want to stream at night sometime when when it's dark, so the lights will be very noticeable in the back. But yeah, so probably a break tomorrow, and then Wednesday will be something. I'll pick something. And then Thursday will be Legend of Mana. Probably Friday will be Legend of Mana again. Um, and Saturday or Sunday, I'll do a special stream to celebrate 150 followers, even though I'm almost at 170 now. Y'all, I, I can't believe it. My growth, I, I, I'm just so, I'm just so happy. My growth has like shot up in the past couple of weeks. I don't know what happened, but suddenly everyone wants to follow me. So that's really nice. I feel very, I feel very loved. So thank you everyone. Um, I'm on my way to 200 already. So that's great. I didn't even think I would hit 150 and now I'm at 170 almost. So. Thank you, everyone. But yeah, Resident Evil will be fun. I played the original Resident Evil, the PlayStation 1, for the first time. And there's a YouTube video series about it out there. So if you want to go watch that on my YouTube channel, there is that. And then I also, yeah, we'll see how this GameCube one is. Namira recommended me to play this. So, you know, Elias, you know who Namira is. So she was the one who got me thinking about it. And I saw it at the thrift store and I'm like, I have to get this. And we're going to play it. It'll be fun. I just have to get my Wii set up to play it. Because I don't know if my GameCube works anymore. It might. But it's been a while since I've used it. So we'll see. But yeah. Now this was a lot of fun. My husband hasn't started doing yet. So I'm just kind of waiting around for now. I have to see, I should see if someone is uh, available to raid. I have to be good about that. Mm, let's see, who's, is anybody even streaming now? Happy to say I'm growing well, thank you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, me playing a horror game, that'll be, <laughs> well, Resident Evil was fun, the very first one. Um, it was very different. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun though. It was a lot of fun. Oh, wow, there's not too many people streaming tonight. I'm surprised. We could go check out Oceanity. Yeah, I see Oceanity. She's playing Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask randomizer, as as we know, that's her favorite thing to do right now. I think what I want to start doing too, when I get more comfortable, is I notice what other streamers do is they actually look at the categories who's streaming now. And for me, I would look for other queer streamers, you know, other queer streamers who, um, who like. Oh, Captain Kokai, hi, <laughs> welcome. Sorry, you came in like right at the end. But yeah, I was going to say, I would just go look at, you know, queer streamers who are out there, see if they're playing games that I like, and I would go send my community to them, because it's a good way to meet people too, right? But I'm still a little nervous about that, so I have to feel a little more comfortable, I think. So for now, I'm just trying to raid people that I know. Um, but eventually, I want to do that. Because that's how I met all you cool people. That's how I met, um, that's how I meet everybody, you know, just random raids come into my channel, or... I'm in another channel and they raid someone, so that's really cool. How are you doing tonight, Gokai? Thank you for coming in, by the way. You caught me right at the end of the, the stream, so. 
I'm amazing, thank you. You're too sweet for saying that. But yeah, you know, I want to discover more queer streamers too. So I am I want to do more raids for queer streamers just to find them and make sure that they're playing a game that I would enjoy. So, And I'm looking really blue because the sun is setting and it's getting dark. Elias, you own Windows Edition and you've never played with us. Excuse me. <laughs> you have no excuse now. You're getting your ass kicked by Kraid. The original Metroid is so hard. Good luck. I have a hard time with that game. That's a really tough game. Yeah, I guess we'll just hang out and chill for a little bit and then we'll go give Oceanity a raid. You didn't know, Elias. Are you sure you weren't just avoiding us? <laughs> avoiding us and our, and our less than uh, stellar Minecraft skills. You're progressing well, that's good. I have a hard time with the original Metroid. I have a really hard time with it. Do y'all have a color preference? Red. I don't know what are the colors around here. Purple? Hello. The purple's nice. You have no idea where you're going. Yeah, it's it's easy to get lost in that one. I think when uh, Metroid Dread is going to come out, I think it's October, right? I'm going to do... I'm probably going to do a couple Metroid games that month. I'll probably play one of the Primes and Super Metroid. Oh, Save and Rewind, I love that, yes. I'm not afraid to use those types of features because it makes the game so much less frustrating and more accessible. I'm all for that. October, yeah. So I think that month I'll probably be doing a lot of Metroid. Super Metroid for sure, because Super Metroid is basically, you know, what I think about when I think of a 2D scrolling Metroid game. So I'll do Super Metroid and maybe a Metroid Primer. I don't know. I don't really like playing, um, I don't know about playing Wii games on the stream because the version I have is the Wii collection of Metroid Prime. So I'll have to use the Wii motes. I don't really want to. Announce they make their own version of Minecraft. They give a free copy to all who already owned. Oh, that could be it. I feel like I got my uh, my um, Bedrock Edition for free, the Windows version. Oh, Gokai, that's who I was going to raid. I'm guessing he's done streaming. I don't see him online anymore. I saw him go online while I was streaming. But I guess he's done. He you sent out your Samus Returns. Yay. Samus Returns is good. I have not played Metroid Fusion. What system is that on? Why do my eyes look bloodshot? Jeez. <laughs> oh, he's coming back later. Okay. It's weird. I, usually there's a lot of people streaming at this time, but there's like nobody on today. Oh, GBA. Oh. Your name on Windows Minecraft is Hazi McGee. Are you sure? I think I added you already, Elias. I feel like we've had this conversation. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I changed it. I'll add you. I'll add you to that afterwards. Wii U has it on a virtual console. Oh yes, yes. The Wii U has a really great virtual console. I'll be really sad when they finally close the shop down. Because there's some really good stuff on there. It's so dark in here now. The sunset finally. But it's nice now that it's when it's dark like this, my lights actually light up everything pretty nicely, like I can see. So it's not dark in here. Well, it's dark in here, but it's not dark in here. I know the Wii U gets a lot of crap, but their virtual console is really good. <laughs> I hope they never close that shop, but I know they will someday, so. You've yet to play Prime 1 and 2. Prime 1 and 2 are good. Prime 1, I think, is my favorite of the Primes. They're all good, but Prime 1 is my favorite, I think. I'm really excited about Metroid. <laughs> That was the one announcement that this E3 gave me, like, the surprise factor for. I was like, what? Really? It blew me away to hear that. Prime 1 is the most Metroid Metroid. <laughs> yeah. I like Prime 1. It's good. I think Metroid Prime 1 is probably my favorite Metroid game, and then Super Metroid would be next, I think. Super Metroid's good. It's hard, but it's good. And I have no... Um, I have no shame using a guide. So usually when I play Super Metroid, I need a guide because I get so lost. I always get lost and I forget what I'm doing. You have no real man, right? <laughs> I didn't send it yet, Elias. Hang on. <laughs> okay, wait. You know what? Just for you. Just for you, Elias. Just for you, I'm going to open my Minecraft right now. And send you an invite. <laughs> the one announcement that had the screen factor. Yeah, that was a really good one. I was really um, excited about... Uh, the Advance Wars announcement too, surprisingly. That was really cool. Okay, how do I invite people? I forget. Members. Elias, I'm going to have to try and add you afterwards. For some reason, when I search for you on here, it says your gamer tag doesn't exist. I'll try it again after this. Yeah, it's not working. I'll try afterwards, Elias. It might just not like me right now. <sighs> Alright. I am starting to get hungry, so... I better go, uh... <laughs> Let my husband know I'm done. I'm, I'm always hungry, y'all. 
always hungry. But Elias, I will go try it again. So how's that? That's your Minecraft name, right? If you can let me know, I don't know if you can message me on Twitter or something because it's not for some reason I can't find you with that name. So I don't know if that's actually your ID. But I'll try again. But yeah, let's go check out Oceanity since y'all are here. Let's go bring some. Let's go bring a fox raid over to. Oh, hi, Ice Fairy type. Welcome in. You, another one just made it in right at the end. Yes, husband, please feed me. Are we, or were you here? If you were lurking, I'm sorry if you just if you didn't just come in. But oh, thank you, thank you, Gokai. Yes, that is my Twitter. My husband's a great cook, so I try to help with cooking, but <laughs> I like it when he cooks because he cooks really good food. And he has this talent for being able to, what's it called? Being able to take what we have in the house and make something. So for me, like if I want to cook something, I'm like, okay, I have to look at a recipe. And then if we don't have what we need, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't want to, I don't know how to substitute this or I don't know. Yeah, Elias, maybe we can chat more, but I'm going to be busy for the rest of the night so um maybe i will send you a message at least and see if i can get your gamer tag <laughs> deep throat the food yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> his food is delicious it's delicious it's really good but yeah i'll be helping with dinner after this and then i have some other things i need to work on for my streams so but I will try to get on there and send you a message at least, Elias, so I can try to get your right gamer tag. It has to be your Xbox gamer tag, I think, or Microsoft gamer tag, whatever that is. Otherwise, it doesn't work. How are you doing? You know, I don't know what to call you, Ice Fairy type. Do you want? I don't know, like, how to shorten your name. How would you like me to shorten your name, if at all? Or I could call you by your real name. I don't know what you prefer. <laughs> Thank you for coming in, by the way. Yeah, my husband's going to make a pork roast tonight, so I'm really excited for that. I love pork roast. Pork roast and vegetables roasted in the oven. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I guess, I don't know what my favorite light is behind me. I'm trying to see. The purple actually matches with my stream quite a bit, but I wish there was a pink light. There's a white one on here that's really obnoxiously bright. There's light blue. That's nice, too. Yellow. This is orange, but it looks red to me. I don't know, let's just do orange. It's fine. I've, I've done so many little upgrades to my stream that I think I've been... You like blue? Do you like the light blue or the other blue? Because there's that blue, and then there's the blue I was using for Illusion of Gaia, which is the darker blue. It's almost imperceptible, but there is a difference. This blue? <laughs> the light blue, okay. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice too. The only thing I have to I have to get frames for these guys because it's what you call it reflects really badly at night. You can't really see them at night. I want to order some frames soon for them, but until then, they can just stay up there like that. It's fine. I have fun just talking to you guys. It's just like hanging out, but we're not close together, which is. Unfortunate, but you know you gotta go with the ice blue, yes. So John is okay? Oh Captain Goka, you answered for fairy type. <laughs> is John okay, fairy type? <laughs> I have to check. I don't know if some people are uncomfortable with me using your real names if I know what your real names are, so I wanna make sure. 
y'all can call me Travis or Fox. You don't have to spell out. You don't have to say. A lot of people call, say the real gamer Fox when they're talking to me, but that's such a mouthful. You can just say Fox or Travis. You have many monikers. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's nice hanging out with y'all. There's not enough people like locally to hang out with, so it's and even then locally it's hard because everyone has different schedules and and there's still COVID going on, so you know it's still a little bit scary. So Trav, Trav is okay. I normally don't respond to that though. <laughs> oh, my husband's awake. Hi, husband. No, he wasn't sleeping, but. He turned the light on, so he ruined our vibe, y'all. <laughs> you're a ninja. Well, you're you're pretty busy, so you have a lot going on. As do I, but hi, hubby. Everybody says he's gonna be making dinner, so I have to let him turn the light on. <laughs> I have to eat. We're done with the game already. We're just talking, so. Yeah, almost done. <laughs> Mysterious being, yeah, he's he will refuse to be on camera, so. <laughs> he will always be mysterious unless you meet us in person. Yeah, no, I don't want him to cook without the light on it. It'll ruin the food, I'm sure. <laughs> He's on Twitter, but his account is private. <laughs> so. <laughs> but he exists, I promise. I'm not just making up a person. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm trying to get him to be a mod for my channel but it's a struggle <laughs> I do need mods though I think I'm gonna put out a application for mods because I'm actually starting to grow enough where I want to have mods so I think I need more than just my one bot mod. Oh yes, Wolf, you have met him, that's right. He is real. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna need mods soon, so. Especially now that I'm streaming more. I'm going to need help keeping an eye on the chat and everything like that. Although I've gotten pretty used to it myself, doing it myself, but... <laughs> I definitely could use some help soon, so I might post something on Twitter about it. The only problem is that because I'm in Hawaii, if you're a mod for me, you have to either be in our time zone or be willing to be up really late, at least on weekdays. So the weekends aren't too bad. They're a little easier. I better I better get better get going <laughs> as much as I want to talk to y'all I think um, I want to send the raid over to Oceanity she is still playing Legend of Zelda um, let me shout her out real quick too because she is one of the biggest contributors to my channel as far as um, the real gamer mod yeah <laughs> my foxy assistant is still there but I need to I need someone like a live person so um, at some point, yeah. 
But yeah, Oceanity has done so much for my channel. Not just the emotes and everything, but she's also done a lot of cons <laughs> consulting. <laughs> she's helped me a lot with setting up things and figuring out how things work. So she's probably one of my biggest, uh, the biggest reasons why my my um, stream is the way it is today because of her help. Oh, thank you, Lies. Thank you for being here. I always appreciate you joining us from all the way across the world. So it's like, it's like, uh, what, 8 a.m. for you now? 8 in the morning? I think that's right. Your day is just getting started. Oh, thank you, Gokai. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you coming in here even though it's late for you. All right, let me bounce over to Oceanity stream and then... Um... Oh, thank you, Gokai. You're so sweet. Likewise. Likewise. All right. Um... Okay, let's head over to her. Roughly, yeah, roughly 8 a.m. Just almost there. Okay, so I'm going to head over there now. And if you want to hang out and show her some love, please do. And if not, um, I'll see you next time. So again, I'll probably be back on Wednesday. I'm going to take a break tomorrow. But I'll be back on Wednesday with something. I'm not sure yet what, but y'all take care until I see you next. All right, good night.